Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're going to go over to Jerusalem and actually map out and show you the Lord Jesus Christ and the woman figure of the Bible. This woman right here is an angelic goddess that stands on the moon ready to give birth to all of us at the end times. And a lot of the signs show that this is actually the mother of Jesus Christ right here. We're going to show this. In the Bible, it says at the end times, this dragon will come after the woman and try to tear down the church system and bring around its, you know, the end times, trying to kill this woman. Literally, it says that in the Bible. It's okay if you don't know this. Nearly nobody else on the earth reads these parts of the Bibles or associates this. They just think she is the church. You have to realize that mankind, me included, all of us think everything is just about us. That's the way that we are. It's unfortunate, but Jesus Christ told us, I mean, a million times that we have to think of things in a spiritual way, and every single person came running up to him talking in a, you know, trying to equate everything to humanity, instead of realizing there's things that you can't see going on. Well, this is all mapped out to happen perfectly. Right here in Washington, D.C., it shows when the woman comes off of the moon. See this footprint, just like the footprint on the moon? Do you see this Pope figure over here? There's the dragon. See the Pope, just like he came to the USA trying to, you know, he's getting ready to start his new world order. See the 50 for the fifth age? And here is the woman and Jesus Christ. You have to realize the basics of the Bible. And, and another thing to understand is nobody teaches this stuff. Our preachers are letting us down. I mean, Jesus Christ is from the seed of the woman. You see this jet right here where it says ellipse, which means an alignment, and you can see eagle's nest. The woman of the Bible is granted the great wings of an eagle. You can see how it looks like a punching glove punching the Pope in the face for the grievous head wound? And then you can see the heart machine below there. Jesus and the woman are going to bring this great earthquake. And then these guillotines begin after this beast rises back up. See all of this beast rising after the grievous head wound? Here's the woman of the Bible, and she's taking everybody to heaven as the sand, as promised to Abraham, will be as the sands of the sea. There's her ship for the oil for the wise virgins. Spider-Man is like the Holy Ghost and Michael, right there. There's the woman, there's the angelic figure. For those that know their movies, this is the same thing in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. See the turtles? And there is April O'Neil fighting the New World Order, the woman of the Bible exactly as in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Her, the people that nobody thinks exists, and they try to equate it to themselves. Don't forget how we're lacking in the understanding area. That's the woman of the Bible, and Jesus Christ, and the wrath of the Lamb, and the souls leaving during the grievous head wound and the great earthquake coming. Do we know about a date? We don't know. But there's 11.5. That could be the 5th of November. Or is an 11.5 earthquake. You can see all that there. And then this deception rises up. Jesus Christ is not going to stop this. Jesus Christ is actually going around the whole world and preparing this to rise up. It's the wheel of the great tribulation and it's the great deception. Anybody that goes with this group will be destroyed. Islam will be part of that wheel. Jesus will turn it. Do you see the Islamic Kaaba and how they go around it in a circle like a wheel? This is the great deception of the Bible. Islam is Antichrist. They deny that Jesus was risen from the dead. They deny that Jesus is the Son of God. Anybody that goes with Islam will be consumed by the wheel of the Great Tribulation as the wheel turns. So you take faith and be consoled that this Islam is spreading around the world on purpose. Jesus is doing it. 
to prepare for when he brings the great deception and the wrath of the Lamb and the wrath of the woman and God. Everybody's coming. So let's head over to Jerusalem and verify. So here is Jerusalem. See right here? Do you see Jesus Christ standing right here? Do you see him standing right here? Do you see his crown? There's Jesus. Right there. Do you see his crown and everything? How is this done? People are still trying to figure out how he raised the dead, how he turned water into wine. Miracles. That's the way it's done. Just like magic all across the earth. See that there? Now watch. Let's show that he's standing with his mom. With her. Just like that would be Jesus protecting everybody. Let's show it like this first. This is the Dendera chart. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. We should have figured that out easily by now. There is Jesus. Do you see him casting down this accuser? Do you see Jesus is on top of the woman? See Jesus is up here? There's the woman with the arrow, an actual angelic woman. It, it really upsets me that nobody believes that this is an actual woman. It, it, you can see, um, let's just keep going. This bull here is the ark for Jesus' testament as it rises. See the grievous head wound happening to this bull? Obama's mass will come off and he will be revealed as the man of perdition and the beast will rise out of the sea. This is all the beast rising out of the sea. Over here you can see the woman gets her eagle, and there's the woman. See how she looks like this dog? Representing the dog star Sirius and such. And there's the beast inside of this pig. You see how the heel is bruising the head. It says in the Bible, the woman and Jesus will bruise the head of the beast. And there's the wise virgins getting on that jet, that eagle. Right there. See that? There's the trumpets blowing all right there. See Jesus on top of the woman there? The woman carries the throne, <clears throat> for those who don't know it. There's Jesus. Now, do you see how he's on top? Waiting on the fifth age and the age of judgment. Do you see the dog? Do you see Jesus sitting right there? Now, he should be sitting on top of the dog, on top of the woman. This represents a foot, like the foot of Jesus Christ. See that there? The dog represents all lambs. The woman is right here. Right there. Exactly as we've been showing. There's the woman of the Bible. There's Jesus Christ. Guys, do you realize how big this is? Do you realize all the things I've been bringing to show everybody for years? Isn't this amazing? Isn't it even more amazing that all these years I've been showing all these things? Like, we don't get a whole lot of people. I only have 40,000 or so subscriptions. Isn't it just amazing? She's keeping all the idiots away from us. I'm serious. This woman and Jesus don't want a lot of people to come to my channel. Because then you're going to know things. It's only for us to know, guys. Because as you've seen, the more people that know this stuff, <laughs> the less they seem to care. Now, do you see the jet coming out of the mouth of Jesus Christ? This represents the sword coming out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Do you see that? The same thing we showed in Washington. It's actually hitting a big, a big dragon figure over here. And we have to get to what's known as the leg of the bull to enter into our rest. Do you see all of that right there? Is this not just the most wonderful miracle and God's gift ever given to us? Look at this. Do you see this? God bless the Lord. Thank you, Father, for everything you've shown us. There it is. Keep faith. Wow. There's Jesus. And there's the woman of the Bible. 
And there's the jet, the wings of the eagle, granted to the woman and to the wise virgins to enter into your rest and pass over the great tribulation that's coming. As all of this comes, and then Jesus and all is going to turn the wheel. Islam is coming. Jesus is going to turn that wheel, and it's going to condemn every single person that goes with it. Look at that. God loves you. God made all this planet and everything and all this universe for all of us. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This one thing right here verifies every single thing I've shown on my channel for years. The Lord Jesus Christ is with me when I show you these things. He is the one that has revealed all of this through me for all of us. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's keep faith and let's have patience. I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.